sanctions over disputed Belarus elections. I think we're extremely worried about the situation we're seeing there. Europe and the European Union, and especially Austria, has been among them reaching out to them. We don't want to push them back into the Russian hemisphere. Um, and they have been helpful, for instance, on, on issues such as Ukraine in the past. So we would like to see a Belarus which, you know, moves our way in far as, as, as far as standards and values are concerned. Uh, we all agree that this vote and this election was everything but fair and free. You support new sanctions on Belarus. What we want now, and that's what my expectation is of this afternoon, the video conference is, uh, that we will have among the EU foreign ministers, is a clear call on Minsk to end immediately all the violence, the arbitrary detentions, release the remaining prisoners. They did start today, but more has to follow. But the most important demand would be to start a meaningful national dialogue. And in case these demands are not followed, or Minsk even takes another approach, um, then I believe the European Union should not exclude sanctions. As the US is pushing to extend arms embargo, it, it makes no sense to permit the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism to purchase and sell weapon systems. It doesn't make sense for the European people either, in our view. We think anybody that's within missile range will be at greater risk because of the air defense systems, for example, that the Iranians will be able to purchase if this arms embargo expires on October 18th. And so we're urging the whole world to join us, to just make the simple statement, this isn't about the JCPOA. This is about whether the world is going to permit Iran to buy and sell weapon systems. Again, it's that clear. It's that simple. Even the likely veto from Russia and China. Uh, we think the time is not right. We don't think Iran has given any indication that it is in a place remotely where the world should allow Iran and China to sell them high-end weapon systems. Uh, and so we're going to do uh, everything that we can within our diplomatic tool set to ensure that that arms embargo doesn't expire, we hope. Uh, the, the, the voting will be within the next handful of hours. We hope that we'll be successful. Uh, when we see the results of that, we'll make the decision about how to move forward. We have been unambiguous, however, about the fact uh, that we have no intention of allowing this arms embargo to expire. No.